It's been 568 days since we released our last Objectives Top Watch map. That is enough time to, like, make a baby and have that baby be almost one year old. Let's not do that again! The next one will be quicker, I promise. By the time you receive the notification about our next update video, Dockyard would have been live for over 48 hours. The 23rd of May is rapidly approaching, and we're all excited to see what you think of the latest addition to the Dirty Bomb map pool. As we said last week, some community content creators have put together behind the scenes videos on Dockyard, and those are now live. So if you'd like to check out Zola's competitive analysis, Shiny Windows art and design inspection, and LCTR's all-round breakdown of the map, you can find them in a playlist on our channel. They cover a flurry of different topics, so it's well worth giving them all a watch. We often receive reports from you talking about encountering cheaters in matches, and while a lot of these are due to experienced players been putting games in newer ones, a number of the reportees are indeed misbehaving. Now that we're in control of the game, we're able to react much more quickly, and we're always working on new ways to combat cheaters. This is a constant battle, but we're adamant and confident that we'll stay ahead of the game. Rank Season 2 is exactly two weeks away from coming to a close. So, if you have enough rank points for a case, or almost have enough, get in game, get those points, and get your cases. And remember, the Rank Season 2 store will only be available until Season 3 starts, so make the most of it while you can. Every Friday we're featuring pieces of fan art on our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages. Last week we showed an awesome piece by Dimitri, which shows that for Phoenix's nanobots there's just some injuries that are a bit too much. Check out the full res version and his other work too. I do love a good DB comic, and MG Panda does just that. We've all opened cases and had that near-miss cobalt, but we can never really show how we feel inside. Kira, on the other hand, has no problem with melting the earth with her laser. Lastly, you've more than likely run into their art already and didn't even realise whose it was, as some of their art is now emotes on Discord. Spanish Inquisition has a very unique style and not only makes fun art, but also translates some of them into animations too. Awesome work! Keep it up. Last week, the most reported issues were quick join team balance, hackers, and lack of a party system. For quick join team balance, we know you can often get into matches with either really high or low level players. However, if you're above level 10, try and stick to the min level 10 servers for more balanced matches. You can find them in the server browser. For hackers, we're adding more systems to the game to help keep it as clean as possible. And for lack of a party system, we're still working towards casual matchmaking. In the last two weeks, we've been refactoring the connection code to enable backfilling, which will allow players to join matches in progress if a player disconnects. With casual matchmaking, you'll be able to easily group up and play with your friends. Although there's no release date just yet, we'll let you know more when possible. Now subscribe, and make sure you check out the community-made Dockyard previews. And also let us know in the comments below which of the three fan arts we showed you is your favourite.
Peggy 7. This is the Endless Galaxy. Your exploration efforts have paid off and you have discovered several habitable planets in your constellation. As the leader of your civilization, your next decision is where to settle your first outpost. It will take time and resources, and you should secure the route from your homeworld to protect civilian convoys from the attacks of pirates or enemy factions. Once your colony is fully operational, it will be able to host your population and contribute to your empire's growth light years away from your home planet. Obtaining luxury resources will help you to gain traction in the development of your colony, unlocking specific bonuses as it expands. When the system reaches level 1, you will unlock the spaceport that allows the transfer of population between this colony and your other systems. Some civilizations, however, approach expansion very differently. While the Lumeris have the ability to purchase outposts, the Vodiani do not need to create outposts at all. Instead, they live in orbit on massive arcs, leaching dust, resources and life energy from the system. Scientific research is an essential tool for every civilization in their quest for expansion. Knowledge and technology will allow your people to colonize harsh new worlds that would otherwise be uninhabitable. With time, you can gain the power to terraform entire planets. A strong multi-planet civilization will generate a great deal of influence, allowing you to claim the ownership of special systems. You will even be able to peacefully convert colonized systems of neighbors and allies if you wish to, as your cultural influence and the prospect of a better life encompass their region. As you expand, you will face many challenges and you will come to realize that the secrets that have shaped the history of the galaxy might shape your future as well. Emergency lockdown. Evacuate immediately.